What's up guys, it's Justin back again with another video. And if you couldn't tell by the title, today we're going through what I did to score 520 on the MCAT in the most simple way possible. Of course, I can only speak on my experiences, but I really do think that anyone following the basics of this strategy should be able to succeed. The MCAT is hard and the MCAT is important. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The MCAT is probably very different from any other test that you've ever taken. So that means you're gonna have to prepare differently than you have in the past. If you can, I recommend three months of dedicated studying time, and by that I mean your sole focus is the MCAT. For traditional students, this might mean taking the summer to study, but if you don't have that luxury, do not worry, you can stretch the three months for as long as you need. For me, I took about six months to study, I studied for four months while working in a research lab, and had two months solely dedicated to the MCAT. So first things first, let's go over what's tested on the MCAT. You have four sections, the first being chemistry and physical sciences, the second being your critical analysis and reasoning skills, the third being biology and biochemistry, and the fourth being psychology and sociology. Of course you take classes like biology, biochemistry, and physics as a pre-med, so you'll be good, right? Well, wrong. The first thing you're gonna have to do is content review. It takes a couple of years to get through other pre-med courses that cover MCAT material, so there's a good chance that by the time you're finally taking biochemistry, you've already forgotten all of your general chemistry. And this is where your MCAT prep books are gonna come in handy. These books are the first purchase that I recommend making. I personally went with Kaplan and have no problem recommending them. Once you have your handy dandy MCAT review books, I would aim to do about two to three chapters per day and see how that works out for you. Once you get into the flow of things, you can add and subtract chapters as you see fit. Not sounding too bad, right? Well, there's another pivotal step in your content review phase, and that is Anki. Anki is a space repetition tool used by many MCAT study goers, and for very good reason. There's something called the forgetting curve. Let's say you study biology chapters one and two today. In a couple of weeks, you're probably gonna forget most of it. But if you continue to review what you learned in those chapters strategically, you're gonna retain a lot more of that information. Anki's algorithm takes all the guesswork out of it for you and feeds you cards as you need them. I recommend checking out the Anking's guide to using Anki for the MCAT, and you'll be even happier to know that pre-med students have paved the way for efficient studying by making pre-made Anki decks. I use the Jack Sparrow deck and have no problem recommending it. Props to him, by the way, Jack Sparrow 2048. If you're watching this, you're a legend. My study flow for this phase was to do any existing Anki cards that I had to, read more chapters, and then yet again, do more Anki cards related to the chapter that I just read. I did this until I read all of the books with the exception of the Psych Soch book and the Cars book. For the psychology and sociology section of the MCAT, there are condensed documents on r slash MCAT on Reddit that make studying way more efficient. I personally used the 86 page doc and scored a 132 on the section, so I have no problems recommending that. Same deal here, unlock relevant Anki cards as you go. And now we have cars, which is a whole different beast and probably the most hated section on the MCAT. My strategy to improving my car score was to do practice passages on Jack Weston. I would take as much time as I needed to get questions right, and once I was finally able to consistently get questions right untimed, I set a timer for about 13 minutes and started working down from there. If you can get to a place where you're taking about seven minutes to read a passage and two to three minutes to answer the questions, you'll be in a good spot. The last resource that I recommend for content review is Khan Academy. If you're anything like me, Khan Academy has saved your butt multiple times throughout your college career and it comes to the rescue yet again. I use Khan Academy to supplement my review books for especially challenging concepts. Okay, so quick review of everything we just covered. Use your chosen MCAT study books to build a foundation along with the Reddit document for Psychosoc and Jack Weston for cars. Use Anki to help you retain that information and use Khan Academy with things you need more help understanding. Trust me, you don't want to spend too much time on this phase of studying. In a traditional three month study plan, I recommend no more than one month of content review. If the first phase of your studying is content review, the second phase is practice questions. Yes, you need to know a lot of material for the MCAT, but what's equally important is applying the information to answer questions. So you're probably wondering where you find practice questions. I recommend UWorld as they have good AMC style questions and really great explanations to their answers. My workflow in this stage was pretty similar to my content review phase. First, I would do any existing Anki cards that I had due to get some momentum. Then I would open up UWorld and start on my practice questions. I chose to split up my days doing either Chem Fizz, Bio Biochem, or Psych Soch, while doing about 60 questions at a time to emulate a real MCAT section. I did cars practice every day because I sucked at cars. I would then review my practice questions, use Khan Academy for anything I needed more help on, and then make my own Anki cards for the questions I got wrong and track these questions in an Excel sheet. Okay, so now picture this. You've done all of your content review, you've done your Anki, you're doing your practice questions, there's one last thing you need to do, and that is practice exams. 
I used some blueprint practice exams, but the most important resource here is going to be the AMC full lengths. I would space them out so you're doing an AMC full length every week before your exam. This means taking an AMC full length every week for about five weeks before your exam. Take these tests seriously and mimic test day as best as you can. After all, this is going to give you a good idea of where your score may lie and what areas you might need improvement on. I took two days to review each full length exam and made sure to update my very long spreadsheet of the questions I got wrong and why I got them wrong. My basic flow for this phase of studying was to take a full length on Saturday, take a break on Sunday, and then review half of my full length on Monday and the second half on Tuesday. Once I finished my full length exams, I worked on finishing out UWorld and the AMC question packs and more importantly, the section banks. So let's review the study plan from the very beginning. First, you're gonna read through your MCAT prep books doing about two chapters a day. Use the Reddit document for Sexosh and Jack Weston for cars. If something is confusing, hop on over to the Khan Academy. Then, unlock Anki cards for the material you just read and do this every day. Even one missed day will make you miserable because you have to catch up. Next, sprinkle in practice questions once you finish some of your MCAT prep books and continue doing content review. Once you've read your MCAT prep books and the PsychSoch Reddit document, work up to doing about 60 practice questions at a time. As you gain stamina, you can work towards doing upwards of 120 questions a day, which is equivalent to half an MCAT exam. At the bare minimum, do one full length exam a week, every week before your test date. If you want more practice, you can add in blueprint full length exams before you start AMC material. And lastly, review your full lengths thoroughly and complete the AMC question packs and section banks. So that's basically it. Don't worry if you feel overwhelmed, I promise that's perfectly normal. Just remember that this is only a loose framework of a study plan. What worked for me might not work for you, so don't be afraid to modify this plan and use different resources. Happy studying, and I'll see you guys in the next one.